This is a monument on behalf of uh, Friar Sherry. They stood up to the French way back in those old days and they were shot dead. St George Square, I think it was. I'm gonna have a bit of a munch around uh, Valletta, some of the back streets, show you a little bit what I found around. This is um, St Paul's Cathedral. It's a Protestant cathedral was built by uh, Queen Adelaide and the country of Australia had a place and it was named after her. She built this with her own money. It's the, it was the only cathedral in, uh, in Malta, President. Over here is a very, very interesting, probably you've already watched that video now of an auberge. Auberge was a uh, a place where all the knights, the different knights, used to stay. Uh, there was eight in Valletta, all around Valletta. Two got bombed. Uh, one was taken down of this place, because there was so there was two of Burj opposite each other, and it was taken down to build this St Paul's Cathedral. And there's another one which is very interesting. This was built for the knights of Aragon. And you're going to say, Steve, where's Aragon? Never heard of Aragon. It was a, a medieval place way out by Spain. Let's read up on some of the information here. Yeah. The Auberge, one of the eight. 1571, erected, occupied by the Knights of St. John of Aragon in the defence of St. Andrew's Bastion. Uh, here's that little bit of better luck for uh, this monument. Not just Friar Sherry, there was many people killed by the French. Uh, in 1799, there was a blockade in Valletta and Contenier Alliance. It was an uprising with the Maltese against the French because they were not liked at all. Let's have a little, little walk around. Maybe it's not a long video. I was over here anyway. I was, uh, and it's a bit hopeless with the mask. Ooh. This is uh, Archbishop Street. I noticed this place on the left and I've got no idea what it is. At the moment there are flats. But you look how really impressive the building is. I'm not even sure that our speech of uh, palaces are just a little bit further along. Well, that's an interesting street. Shall we go down there, guys? Let's have a look at this first. We'll come back up and go down there. This is awesome, eh? Look at this. There's no uh, information on Google about it. There's a bit of Latin, if you can read it. <laughs> Parking here, the letter is this <laughs> disaster. They're coming for the garbage. Many people finishing work now, it's just uh, after three. The bankers and the this is an area for bankers and notar, notar in Maltese is like solicitors, barristers, lots of sh small uh, places. Old Min Street. Oh, there's the palace of the Archbishop, I think. Oh, that's the, the no, that's the church. Must maybe a bit further up it is. Oh, this could be it. This could be the Archbishop's Palace, I think. Because I remember coming down 
Yeah, maybe, yeah, this is the Hachipishu Palace. <laughs> I was completely <laughs> confused. Yeah, because I went down there. Uh, yeah, this is the Hachipishu Palace, so... That doorway is the entrance to them. We can go in a little bit, let's have a look. Ah, no, I found out. Well, I was just getting my bearings a little bit. That must be the main door of the Archbishop's Palace. I thought it looked quite impressive for just flats. It says flats on Google. Apartments. Sorry. Well, this is interesting. Yeah. I'm going to take you around some of the small streets, see what we come across. Just a, a mooch around, we say in English. A lot of little things around. people going around here. This is where we went in the Archbishop's Palace. I'm, I'm almost sure now into his backyard. I might put a little clip on this because I went into the Archbishop's Palace. It's got an underground tunnel. Uh, it's got a spring that's coming from that one we went down by the law courts all the way down here. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure this is it. Okay guys, we're going in the other one. This seems like it's split into two. Let's have a look through here. Same problem. Ah, this is a little bit deeper. Oh, it's full of water as well. Oh, the big one is, the law court is a lot deeper than here. But maybe because Valletta is sloping away to the sea and this is a lot further down. I can hear the water still running. The big chamber here. This is definitely only one or two stories down. The other one was almost four stories. But as I said, Valletta slips away to the sea, so maybe that's why. Huh? But the water's still running. Well, quite beautiful though. And quiet down here. Maybe two stories, I think, up to the courtyard there. Oh, back into the garden again. He has lived here more than five years, maybe or more. Me, I'm only one. Yeah, because I came up on the top there. Sometimes, Valletta, you can get completely lost. <laughs> I know you use that word a lot. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, something to do with the Archbishop there. This is being refurbished, yeah. Let's get on a, a bit straighter. Look how high up there. 
I'm not sure exactly what this is here. We're going downhill though, good. Ooh, a lot of work down here. They're doing the drainage all through. Foreigners here, guys. <laughs> Says the Englishman in Malta. This is that road that was coming up by the. Oh, a lot of work going on here. Wow. Doesn't say a name of this. Been totally refurbished this place. This is the place to go in, guys. <laughs> oh, they're working. Lost in the back streets of Valletta. Lots of impressive doorways. Hope you're enjoying, guys. Just uh. I'm not going to even bother editing, just put it together. A little bit of a walk around. One of the oldest parts of the letter. Hard to breathe, this mask on. I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> There's a lot of police about, so they're hungry for fines, I think. Came back out here again. Yeah, this is the entrance of the Archbishop's Palace. Old Bin Street here. On the right hand side is that church I went into, like a cathedral. There's another video, I'll try and put the link here for you. Laundry day today. Oh, plenty of pigeons here. Old Mint Street, guys. Lovely church if you get a chance, but it looks like it's closed up. Uh, I got a video of it. I went in. By uh, cathedral, anyway. A basilica of Lang Mount Carmel. Of Our Lady Mount Carmel. And it's coming down here. Clocked up, sadly. There is a video, though, guys. Um, I'll try and put the link for it. Lots of restaurants around here. Look at this stretch of it. This is Old Mint Street, Mint, M-I-N-T. It's got a lovely uh, spiral, some poles. This is the back end of some poles. Uh, there is a lot of history on Queen Adelaide. 
and when they discovered obviously Australia they named Adelaide of Queen Adelaide this is the back end of it here Okay, went around the whole block there. St Paul's Pro Cathedral. Church of England. Now these people, like lots of people I've uh, tried to contact so we can go inside. No one's, uh, no one's answered me. Going down to the sea here. Look at the spiral on this guy. Thank you, Queen Adelaide. It's very nice. Here we go down this way. I'm just taking some turns. Maybe a 20 minute video. Well, let's stay on the road. Show you a little bit of the sights around the back end of Valletta. That was Bishop Street and Mint Street. I don't know what this is called. This is very old though here. Very old part. Number 16. Look at those windows there. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of history here. This is the old part of the letter. I think we're not far away from Straight Street. It's just around the corner here, if I'm not mistaken. It seems like there's, uh, there was paupers and there was rich. <laughs> Another one of these, uh, like a Santa. Someone uh, paid for it, obviously, in the old days, and uh, keeps it up with the flowers. They have a saint that they follow, and obviously, they don't pray to it. Oh, this is a painter in here. Studio 40. Right near to the uh, Port Elmo, just there, at the bottom. St. Lucia Street coming up. Oh, wow, parking is unbelievable. <sighs>
St. Lucia Street. Oh, I like the restaurant, eh? Very, very good. Let's walk a little bit down here. Tobacconists. They used to be so good in the old days, tobacconists. There was many in Valeticus with the pipe and the cigar. Lots of people used to use those things. We're trying in a circle, guys. Back to the cathedral of uh, Mount Carmel. So you get a bit of look at it. John Street coming up now, walking up St. John Street. <laughs> Some very old doorways. Straight street. I don't think we go down there. We we'll had a few bad looks down that way. Looks like they're taking some people into court, so they're a bit touchy about that. We're coming up to St John's Cathedral. Hold your breath, guys. Public Street. Still going up St John's Street now. Here's St John's Cathedral on the left hand side. We'll finish here, guys. Oh, this is the place you come out because if you go in St. John's Cathedral, you have to go in from the back door. Only the uh, go through this door. Us paupers have to go through it. But you come out this way. Thanks, guys. Little video. Hope you enjoy it. Around. Well, it is too big to do in one video. And I thought I'm down there. That auberge is very interesting. I think I might do a video of all eight of them. There's eight auberge. Two got bombed. One was replaced by uh, St. Paul's the Cathedral. So a lot of history. That Aragon is very, very interesting. It was a, a medieval uh, country many years ago. I'll do a bit of research because I wasn't sure. I, I had to Google it to see what it was. Thanks, guys. 
St. John's Cathedral, St. John's Cathedral, <laughs> get it out of my mouth. Hope you enjoyed it, subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. See you everybody, see you next video. Just a short one for you. Might it ends up about 20 minutes, I'm sure. Subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.